Hi, this is Mr. Ricks here, and I wanted to just do a very uh, short vodcast for my honors chemistry to explain the homework, uh, which I did not get to uh, for my uh, period two chemistry class. Uh, so this particular question is asking what is the empirical formula of uh, a compound, uh, and it tells you that 1.4 grams of sulfur is in the compound and 2.15 grams of oxygen are also in the compound. So uh, what we're really looking at is the fact that a compound is really just a molar oops, I can spell that, molar ratio. So if we talk about it like say a compound of H2O, right, it's two, two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen, a two to one ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. So that, we can equate that to a gram ratio where we have two grams of hydrogen based on the molar mass of hydrogen and 16 grams of oxygen. So we're sort of doing that same thing with this problem. So what we want to do in order to solve for the fact that this is a formula, empirical formula, is we need to look at a mole ratio. And our values are given to us in grams. So what we want to do is we want to figure out how many moles of sulfur we have. So we have 1.40 grams of sulfur. And we want to get to moles. So we say one mole of sulfur has a mass of 32 grams of sulfur. We get that from the periodic table. Uh, we set up the same thing here where we have 2.15 grams of oxygen. And we want to figure out how many moles of oxygen that is. And so what we have is one mole of oxygen is 16 grams. Now what we need to do is just calculate out those values. Sorry, I just had to get my calculator out. So the answer to the first one is 0 0.0438. The answer to the second problem, hang on for one second. Is 0 0.134 moles of oxygen, and this is moles of, excuse me, this is moles of sulfur. All right, and now again with uh, the formulas being mole ratios, we want to set one of these equal to zero, or not zero. We want to set it equal to one. So we take the smallest one and we say that if we have, uh, again, 0 0.0438, we divide it by that to set it to 1. So we divide it by that, and that means we have 1 sulfur, 1 mole of sulfur, and we do uh, 0 0.134 divided by 0 0.0438 and that's going to give us a value of 3.06 mol, uh, moles of oxygen and that's actually going to be our formula so we know that there's one sulfur and there are three we round this off to a whole number because mole ratios Dalton taught us that they always have to be in whole number ratios it's O3 so our answer is SO3. And that's how you do these problems and solve for uh, empirical formula. Remember, empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms. All right, uh, we'll see you in class.